Hello students, in this video we are going to discussing about introduction to biomaterials. In generally, biomaterials are used to make the devices that will be replace a part or functions of the body in a safe, reliable and economically and physiologically acceptable manner. There are the variety of devices and the materials are used in the treatment of diseases and the injuries. The definition of biomaterial is nothing but a synthetic material that will be used to make the device uh, to replace a part of living system or the functions that will be contact with the living tissues. Uh, the common examples for the biomaterials are sutures, plates, needles and etc. Let's move on to the history of biomaterials. In earliest, the biomaterials were performed by the surgeons for restoration of the missing parts. And year 1912 and 1893, the plates were developed for designing of bone fractures. In 1930s and 1950s, the, the biomaterials were gradually developed in a polymer side. The heart valve implantations are developed after the open heart surgery. In 1944, the dialysis of human being was discovered. So, the, from the nose reconstruction to uh, dialysis, of bio, dialysis of the human where the biomaterials are gradually developed. There are the plenty of characteristics uh, with respect to the biomaterials are we have to note it down. The first, the most important characteristics of the biomaterial is biocompatibility. So biocompatibility is nothing but it is an acceptance of the material with the human body. So the human body, whenever the whenever you insert a new material into or implant new material into a human body, the, the body has to accept the implant. So the acceptance of the uh, material is biocompatibility and the material does not providing the any toxic element to the human systems and third is your material does not uh, provide any cancerous disease to the human body. So it is biocompatible, non-toxic and it does not give the cancerous to the cancerous, it does not grow the cancerous cells, the matter that does not uh, produce the cancerous cells in the human body. So the metal we have to choose for the biomaterial having the good physical and mechanical properties and most important the material should be in a low cost. And whenever you choose for the biomaterial uh, it should be in a readily available manner and we have to mold it into the different shapes. So the material should be able to mold it into the different shape with respect to the human organs and whatever in the applications we are going to do with the biomaterials. So the materials we can take that it is easily uh, degrade in the process. So whenever you are choosing the biomaterial with respect to the uh, human applications you have to uh, think about uh, the material should be uh, resistant to the degrade and it should be acceptable strength and resistant to wear. So the most important characteristics are there. It should be an biocompatible, non-toxic and it should having the good physical and mechanical properties and the materials having the low cost. And the most important things, the difference between the biomaterial and biological material. The biomaterial is a material that will be used to make the devices that will be replace the pot, uh, parts of your human body or that will be uh, functioning the uh, living uh, systems. The biological materials is nothing but a material that is produced by the biological systems. For example, the blood, bone, uh, proteins, muscles, these are the uh, biological materials. So what is biocompatibility? I already said that the biocompatibility is nothing but it is an acceptance of an artificial implant by the surrounding tissues by the body. Okay. So there are the different fields, uh, the biomedical, uh, biomedical applications with respect to the biomaterials development. So the fields of science and engineering, the biology and the physiology and the clinical science, there are the biomaterials having the development stage. 
there are the plenty of biom applications with respect to the biomaterials with respect to there are the orthopedic applications cardiovascular applications ophthalmology applications wound healing drug delivery systems for example if you are taking the orthopedic we can uh, say that there is the prosthetics that used to replace the joint in uh, affected by the areas and uh, move on to the heart in the heart, cardiovascular applications we can uh, use the biomaterial for artificial heart valve and uh, stunt etc in ophthalmology the intraocular lenses and the contact lenses are used wound healing our choosers and the grafts are uh, develop, uh, created and developed by the biomaterials so this table you can easily uh, see the uses of biomaterials and the examples for example we can take the to correct the uh, uh, functions abnormalities of heart we can use the cardiac face maker artificial cardiac face maker so improve the function of the heart you can use the cardiac face makers okay then for example if you want to aid the treatment means you can use the biomaterial as a catheters right so aid for the diagnosis and the treatment we go for the catheters so these are the list of uses of biomaterials and the examples in this slide we can easily see the um, what are the biomaterials that will be used in the organs the main organ we can um, see that the heart lung eye ear bone kidney and the bladder etc so in heart uh, the examples of biomaterials applications of biomaterials are cardiac phase maker artificial uh, heart valve and uh, for lungs it is an uh, oxygenator machine eye it is an contact lens for ear it is an artificial uh, we can use the strips and bone we can use the bone plate kidney we can use as the kidney dialysis machine for bladder we can use the catheter and strains so these are the applications that will be available and uh, that uh, and also it is be associated with the organs in finally the impacts of the biomaterials in the early days that will be relatively few engineering materials such as stainless steel chromium etc so so where it will be used to make the artificial hearts within simple device for example in the today field the biomaterials were evoked then more than the 50 difference of materials and in a complex prosthetic devices so the development of biomaterials used in the medical devices are occurs in the responsible to growing the number of patients and traumatic and trauma uh, and non-traumatic conditions so by it is an impact of biomaterials it's starting from the ending stage stage of um, how it be developed so this is an all about the introduction to the biomaterials and thanks for this video